Okay, this last segment on calculation deals with tricky problems. When textbooks and tests and tricky teachers are trying to come up with situations that, you know, really can baffle our minds. Now, let's say here's a problem. The diameter of a bike tire is 26 inches. Find both the circumference with pi as a constant and the circumference with pi as a decimal. So this is a common word problem and you just gotta say, hey, the diameter is 26, okay? So I'm just gonna remember that circumference is equal to the diameter times pi. So with pi as a constant, the circumference is equal to 26 pi, all right? Now, if we take pi as 3.14, what we're gonna to have to do is, we're gonna to have to, instead of just saying 26 pi, it's gonna be 26 times 3.14. But here's the tricky part. You have to be able to multiply those numbers, then do the decimals just right and get that exactly as 81.64, okay? Okay, second problem. Uh-oh. What is the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 225? So now we know the circumference is 225, but we don't know the diameter. Now what we do is, we basically solve for x. Remember back, way back the start of the year, we would solve for equation, we would solve for x in equations where x was the variable. Well, diameter, we don't know that, so d is our variable. Now we know our circumference is 225, and we know that pi, uh, we can assign that as a 3.14. Now, so our circumference is equal to 3.14 times d, which is our variable. Now, to get the d by itself, we divide by 3.14 on both sides. And then, kids, we have to be able to do this, 3.14 into 225. The diameter will be equal to 71.656. And if we were going to round that off, 72 is about the diameter, okay? That was pretty tricky. All right, what is the circumference of a circle with a radius of 21? Hey, 21 can be divided by 7, so what are we going to do? We're going to use 22 sevenths, okay? Now, we have to remember, they're trying to trick us by saying radius of 21 instead of diameter. And we know that the diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. So if 21 is the radius, our diameter is 2 times 21. And so we get the circumference is equal to 42 is the diameter, 22 over 7 is fraction pi. When we multiply those, we cross cancel, and we get the circumference is equal to 6 times 22, or the answer is 132. And then our last tricky one here. Very typical of tricky ones on tests. They'll give you two circles. Diameter is three, diameter is six. So the diameter of B here, this is B circle, it's twice the diameter of A. And then they ask something like, how much larger is B than A? Now one of the multiple choice answers is gonna be two. And they're trying to get you to jump and to guess quickly and to guess two, which is wrong, okay? What you have to do is you have to figure out the circumference of A. If we figure out the circumference of A, it's simply three times 3.14, which is 9.42. The circumference of A is 9.42. Now if B, it's six diameter times 3.14 pi. So the circumference is 18.84. Now, 
The question is, how much larger is B than A? Well, how much larger? You take the big one minus the small one is equal to the difference or the answer to the subtraction problem. Now that 9.42, that could be the answer, but they might put the answer this way. They might put the answer as 3 pi. So basically this was 6 pi minus 3 pi is equal to 3 pi. So either one of those two can be your answer. So 6 pi minus 3 pi is equal to the difference of 3 pi. Or there's your numerical answer. Okay, those have been our tricky examples.